Welcome back to Death Toll Racing. I just finished rebuilding the NP241 transfer case for the Bugout RV. This is not my favorite transfer case in the world and it is a placeholder until we can get something better. But I have to say, for all you people who talk crap about these NP241s, I need to bark this at you for just one second. You're being too nice. Those things are the biggest hunks of crap in the history of the world. They could not have used thinner aluminum if they wanted to. I, I think I'm going to have to paint it just to keep the oil from seeping through the paper thin aluminum housing. Holy crap. And then I had an issue. The last part that you put on before installing the tail housing, which is the very end, is a C-clip retains the bearing. I couldn't get it on without overstretching it. I, I tried three. The last one I got barely big enough on the splines, use a slip yoke to slide it up, keeping it perfectly straight, sliding up shaft, got it on there and I can spin it with my finger, which just means it's too loose. Now a professional would say, good enough, put the housing on, walk away. I'm not a professional. I take a little bit more pride than that in anything I do, even though I know the weak point in this thing probably ain't that damn clip in the back, especially when I installed it that gently. So I go on to Torque King to see if they make a solution for that clip, and they do. So I'm, apparently I'm not the only one. They make a bolt-on unit that replaces that stupid thing because apparently it's not possible to install that clip without overstretching it. So anyway, let's install this bolt-on. They call it a case saver. It's a two-piece bolt-on unit. Let's get that thing installed, and maybe I can unpucker a little bit at more than half throttle. But, but I'm not promising anything. I still don't trust this thing. All right, so once your drive line's out, it's just four bolts, tail housing comes off with a little love tap after you get your bolts out. Your snap ring's right there in the back. Use anything you can to get it off of there. Just stretch the crap out of it to get it off, um, mostly because you hate it, or at least I do. Then you're gonna install your two halves of your case saver. It only goes on there one way. It has a little groove that goes down in your snap ring. Then you wanna make sure that your bolts both thread in evenly and easily. Um, once you get that done, get it all the way tightened down, loosen them both, take them one bolt out at a time, add your thread sealer, thread locker, I should say, and then you can go through and torque it down. There's a spec sheet included. Once that's done, put your tail housing back on. They give you some gasket maker to redo that. There's a lug that you just have pointing down. Install your bolts, put your drive line back in, top off your fluid, and you are good to go. There's my overstretched piece of crap snap ring that I was very mean to getting off.